A whole series is a special application of the whole wizard. It can only be accessed in the assembly environment. Because of this, it does fall into the category of assembly features, but it behaves quite differently than any other type of assembly feature. Although a whole series whole is added at the assembly level, it does appear at the part level as well. I'll show you what I mean. Here I have a three component assembly. You can access the whole series by going to the insert drop down menu, assembly feature, whole, whole series, or by clicking on the whole series icon found on the assembly command manager. The whole series property manager appears, and these first four tabs are used to specify the whole's parameters. The first tab is to specify the whole's position, followed by the whole's first part, middle parts, and last part. This fifth tab is an extra tab used for smart fasteners, so keep in mind that it's only available if the SOLIDWORKS toolbar is active. I'll be defining the whole series by going through each from left to right, but you can choose to work in whatever order by just selecting the appropriate tab. For the position tab, the dialog box gives me the option of creating a new hole or using an existing hole. To use the existing hole, you simply click on the hole in the graphics area or in the feature manager tree. You may also use a series of existing holes, but SOLIDWORKS requires that they all must be the same type and size. In this case, I'm going to create a new hole. I'll click the top face of the plate and move on to the next tab. For the first part, I'll select a counterboard hole for a quarter inch hex bolt. Take a look at the graphics area as we define each tab. Notice that SOLIDWORKS displays a hole preview to show what section I'm working on. For the middle parts, or part in this case, I'll need a clearance hole for a quarter inch bolt. SOLIDWORKS automatically checks the box called Auto Size Based on Start Hole here in the dialog box. Rather than specifying the parameters for the middle part, this option lets SOLIDWORKS take care of these settings. SOLIDWORKS will select the appropriate size and type according to the first part. If you change the parameters of the first part, the middle part parameters will update as well. And on the last part tab, I can choose either a regular hole, a tapped hole, or a slot. I'll go with tapped hole, and you can see the sizes are defined automatically by having the auto size based on start hole box checked. I now have to define the end component of the hole. In this case, I want the hole to go through all three plates, so I'll select the bottom plate either in the graphics area or in the feature manager tree. Under the Smart Fasteners tab, I want to point out this option, Auto Sized Based on Start Hole. This option enables automatic sizing, allowing SOLIDWORKS to automatically size the related smart fasteners to the hole. If I were to modify the size of the hole, SOLIDWORKS would adjust the smart fastener size. I'll click OK. And the whole series is finished. Now if I open up this plate in its own window, you'll see that the hole exists at the part level, not just at the assembly level. If you look at the Feature Manager tree, you can see that a whole wizard hole with an external reference has been automatically created. In fact, this hole exists in each of the components affected by the whole series. And in case you're wondering, deleting the whole series from the assembly will cause these in-context features to be deleted from all components.